This is just a beginner um, video of how to uh, use torrents, uh, download, protect yourself, um, some pitfalls, things that I've learned. Bear with me if you are trying to look for um, how to uh, uh, protect yourself with a kill switch or something like that. So anyways, here's the basics. I own one of my favorite movies is Jurassic Park and I uh, saw it twice in the theater and uh, obviously I bought the VHS when it came out and then when DVDs came out I bought the DVD I didn't buy the Blu-ray because I don't have the Blu-ray player but unfortunately I don't have a VHS uh, player I don't own one anymore and uh, nothing's hooked up to my TV and uh, no DVD uh, player hooked up to my TV either so if I want to watch my favorite movie of all time I've seen it many times I don't really need to watch it again but if I do I really don't have a choice can buy it again from maybe Amazon and uh, if Amazon happens to go out of business then I have to buy it again so I'm paying for the movie over and over again and I uh, don't want to do that uh, one of the things you can do is just download it off the internet using a torrent so that's the first thing second thing is we got to find Jurassic Park you can probably just Google Jurassic Park torrent and you can find a whole bunch of websites that have uh, this torrent. A couple of good websites like the Pirate Bay and uh, Kick-Ass Torrents, they're being blocked by uh, Google. There are other um, search engines that uh, do still search them, but you can go directly to them. Or you can go to uh, dozens of other sites that um, have uh, the movie. My favorite one is YTS. Now this is YTS AG. It's not the original YTS. I don't like going to uh, any websites, any of these websites, because uh, they're filled with uh, malware pop-ups, um, and they have to. That's the way that they make money. YTS is one of the, the better ones. Uh, right now, it just started up with, the, with one uh, pop-up, but uh, there's some of them that will just kill your computer. Um, so what I like to do is, instead of uh, visiting it on my Windows, I go to my uh, iPhone, and uh, visit the page there. Still malicious, but all it does is pretty much take you to um, the App Store and you hit one button and you're back to your Chrome browser or Safari, whatever you use. Anyways, if you do that, you can copy the URL, which is right here, and um, you can probably email it to yourself. Once you email it to yourself, you can just copy this. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's show you how to do that. Just copy that and you can open it up here like that. Now, if you download it from here you have a little torrent file and uh, you can uh, take this torrent file and plop it in here. Now, um, so here's, here's the situation. If you go ahead and download that, uh, you're downloading and uploading at the same time. So that's how a torrent works. You download and upload at the same time. Whatever you have, you're uploading to other people that don't have it and you're downloading from them whatever your whatever part of the file that you're missing and uh, if you're caught downloading a uh, copyrighted uh, movie or any kind of copyrighted material uh, they will contact your ISP and your ISP has an obligation to send you a letter which I got way back in the day uh, this was sent to me in 2013 uh, the lovely Andrew Beck and uh, from Universal and because they don't know I've bought uh, four copies of uh, Jurassic Park already, so I should be able to download one copy so I can actually watch the movie that I pretty much memorized because I've seen it so many times. Um, but they don't know that, and they just see me downloading. So you get this nice letter saying, hey, you got to delete it. And uh, just a warning, they don't have your information. All they're doing is they're sending it to the ISP, your internet service provider, and your internet service provider is forwarding it to you. So do not contact Andrew Beck and say, if you do it over and over again, uh, the ISP is uh, obligated to shut you down. Um, but uh, so there's a problem. You can't really uh, download these movies. Uh, you need something else. And what you need is a VPN. What does a VPN do? It's a virtual private tunnel. Now, you this is probably the best one. It's called uh, betternet.co. So have uh, private internet access. Their, their uh, bandwidth rates are much better, but this is good enough, especially if you're doing torrents, uh, you know, with a great bandwidth, maybe it takes 10 minutes and you really don't want to sit next to your computer. So you're just going to leave it and go and come back. Now, that's the problem with um, leaving it and coming back. What happens is, is just in case your VPN drops connection, 
what's going to happen is your IP address is going to be exposed again. And we want to connect. So it's, it's as simple as this, you know, it's going to try to connect now. It's going to say it in a second, trying to connect. And then it's going to connect. And once you're connected, your IP address will change. And there's your little uh, status connection. You're not now connected. Great, thanks. Better spot. Yeah, you can do that too. Okay, so um, that's that. You can download it from their website. You can download it from download.com. Either way. Now, if this BetterNet connection disconnects, your download, well, now we can uh, plop this in here and you can see it downloading and our IP address is protected now. Download speed, oh, well, now we got 12, 15, and there it goes. And there's your download speed. It's, it's a pretty decent speed. Uh, that'll, that'll pick up as uh, more people, uh, it tracks more people. There's about 19. Usually you get some people with uh, fast internet connections. So you're protected now because you're on a VPN. And he's happy. Yay, you're on a VPN. They're not going to get you. The only problem is now if I walk away from my computer uh, and this happens to disconnect for whatever reason, my IP address is exposed. Here's the advanced stuff. Here's what you need. Um, I also use uh, private internet access, but that's a paid subscription, faster download speeds. Only problem is, of course, you have to pay for it and it has a built-in kill switch, but uh, BetterNet doesn't have a, a kill switch, so we're going to use VPN at Mon. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but um, you can go to their website right here, kind of a strange website, pretty simple. Hit the download button, you can uh, download right here, or you can even go to uh, download.com and download it from here. So there it is. Um, my IP address, this is an internal IP address, it's set to 172, that's my uh, Apple Extreme is set to dish that out. Now what this does is it gives you another um, IP address and the option here it says VPN OK, so hey, great. Um, and this is the, you got to set what uh, program you want it to kill in case your VPN drops off. Now, the other thing is setting your VPN IP start point. So this is going to be your, your VPN IP, so it's 10. So if it ever sees you switch from 10 to 172, hey, boom, we got to kill uh, uTorrent quickly because you're downloading, and look, it's a nice speed right there, uh, almost uh, one megabit per second. Uh, we need to kill uTorrent so your IP doesn't get exposed, and that's what it is. And, and basically setting this up is, is the thing that you want to do. Um, again, we got the application it's going to kill. It's going to kill uTorrent, um, and if it's not on IP10. So let's, let's try that. Let's see what happens here. We're going we're gonna to disconnect here. And what should happen, as soon as I disconnect from uh, this happy little BetterNet, BetterNet guy, uh, uh, VPN at Mont will uh, notice that we've been disconnected and quickly shut down uTorrent so you don't expose your IP address and it'll be a kill switch. So let's try that right now. We're disconnected and bam. There it is. You can see that the 10 IP address is no longer there. I'm back to the 172. And VPN is down, and we forced shut down uTorrent. Boom, we are safe. That's it. If you got any comments, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Peace.